the children, mummies, daddies, carers, grandparents, great-grandparents, aunts, uncles, great-aunts, great-uncles, cousins, second cousins, third cousins, 42nd cousins, and anyone else who is watching. And if I've forgotten anyone, I do apologise, but I am getting old. I am 1,740 years old this year. Mm. Now, how is that possible, I can hear you asking. I was given the gift of immortality for being kind to children. Mm. I've been wondering how to celebrate my 2,000th birthday. Mm. Should I have a few days off and cancel Christmas? Oliver Cromwell did when he was Lord Protector. No feasting, no fun and no presents. It made me very sad and fed up. There was a whole country I couldn't deliver presents to. So, of course I won't cancel Christmas. <laughs> it's my favourite time of year. I sit here in my office. Oh, oh yes, this is my office. And I enjoy reading all your letters. Now, I've had so many letters asking me questions about where I live, what I do, where I work, that I thought I'd let you into my world. Now, this is where I work at the North Pole. And all my elves are working away in the next room to make toys for all the children of the world for Christmas. Now, during December, I often work elsewhere. I'm invited to Christmas fairs, charity events and, and large shops so I can see as many children as possible. And then I come back here to prepare for Christmas Eve. I'm going to let you into a few of my secrets. Now, it is true, I do have a naughty list. And how do I decide who goes on the naughty list? Well, there are several ways. <laughs> Sometimes it's as simple as this. <laughs> Dear Santa, how are you and the reindeers? Enough of the chat. Bring me the present you forgot last year. I never forget presents. Now, my first inclination is to put this young man straight onto the naughty list. Uh, but wait. What if he never got his present last year? Then he would have every right to be a bit miffed. Maybe someone took his present, which would be a very bad thing to do. You should never take anything that doesn't belong to you. Now, he has a little brother called Johnny. Johnny, I shall be watching you this year. Hmm. Now, other ways you can get on my naughty list is not listening to your parents or carers, and not sharing what you have, not giving to others, having bad manners, not eating your vegetables. Brussels sprouts are really nice. <clears throat> not behaving at school, but most of all, not having any Christmas spirit. And how do you know if you have enough Christmas spirit? Well, it's simple. If you laugh at my jokes, you have it in abundance. <clears throat> what did Adam say on the day before Christmas? Why, it's Christmas Eve! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Every day during December, I have tons of letters that arrive. I have to read them all, and I have three separate piles. Here's a letter from Tamara, and she says, Dear Santa, I want pizza for Christmas. Yes, pizza on earth and goodwill towards man. How does King Wenceslas like his pizza? Deep and crisp and even. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Now that one goes straight on the easy pile. I'll have to stop at Domino's on the way down. Oh, and this one from Mabel. Dear Santa, for Christmas I want a toy that does my homework. Now that's for the hard pile. I'll have to get a clever elf to solve that one. A clever elf who knows his alphabet. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> And from Gabriella. Dear Santa, there's only one thing I want for Christmas, and that is Sean Mendes. 
I think he's cute, and I want him in my stocking. Definitely the, how the heck am I going to do that pile? Hmm. Dear Santa, how are you and the reindeer doing? I want a new football because my little brother tries to steal mine. He may look sweet, but he is the devil. Get me a new brother. Love, Evan. Now, I think Evan needs to make up his mind whether he wants the football or the new brother. Two presents would be very greedy. Oh, I had this one last year. Dear Santa, I am writing this on the day after Christmas, and I am very sad. I only received one of the two presents I asked for. Since you ate my cookies, I will assume that my missing gift was a mistake, and I will give you one week to fix this. Jeremy, blackmail doesn't work with me. You are now on the naughty list. And the cookies were a bit stale, by the way. I prefer mince pies. Hmm. <laughs> Who hides in the bakery at Christmas? A mince pie! <laughs> What's the best thing to put into a mince pie? Your teeth! <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Santa, I flushed my brother's head in the toilet, but can I have a puppy? Naughty list. Dear Santa, I want a Ferrari. Sorry, Jake, you're going to be so disappointed this Christmas. Now, dear Santa, I want a Lamborghini. Ah, that's possible. I'll look into getting you a pasta maker. Dear Santa, can I have a notebook and pencil? Oh, an intellectual. Now, a joke for you. What do English teachers call Santa's little helpers? Subordinate clauses. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> now, many of you have asked how many languages I speak. At last count, it was 7,099, as I have to speak all languages in the world so that I can translate the letters you write to me. Now, this letter I have translated from Dumi, which is a very rare language spoken by only eight people in Nepal. Uh, bandana, I am so sorry I won't be able to bring you a giraffe. I have to be honest, it's not always easy to deliver live animals. It, it wouldn't be able to live in the climate. It would be cruel, and we must never be cruel to animals. Oh, and here's another one. Uh, uh, Timmy, an elephant wouldn't be suitable for a flat in central London. It would be the elephant in the room. I shall pop a stuffed one in your sack instead. <laughs> your mother will love me forever. Oh, oh, I can hear you say, but that's not fair. You've got animals. You have your reindeers. <laughs> Why did the reindeer cross the road? Because it was the chicken's day off. <laughs> did you know reindeer's eyes changed colour? Hmm. They're golden in summer and deep blue in winter. So I always know what time of year it is. And if you want to see them, you have to ring the deer bell. <laughs> yes, I do have Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitz, and then last but by no means least, Rudolph. Rudolph the... Now, Rudolph had a problem when he first arrived at the North Pole. He had a very shiny red nose, and, and sadly he was teased by the others and left out of their games. He had low elf esteem. <laughs> Fortunately, he told me what was happening. And if any of you children that are watching are having a difficult time because you are being teased, then you must tell an adult. Don't suffer on your own like poor Rudolph. Fortunately, I have a very good elf doctor. Uh, no, I'm not making the joke about the National Elf Service. Who looked at Rudolph and found he had a parasitic infection on his nose. And after a few days of rubbing in the prescribed ointment, Rudolph was fine again. I let him lead the sleigh that night. Mm. 
He was very proud of himself. And I was very proud of him for having the courage to tell me what was wrong. And then we were able to put it right. So you see, my animals are different. I need them to get me round the world on Christmas Eve. And that is the question I am asked the most. How do I do it? How do I deliver presents to all the children in the world? Now there are 1.6 million households to be visited worldwide. The distance between any two households is approximately 0 0.138 miles. When you add this up, it's a lot of visits and an awful lot of distance to travel. Across field and fountain, moor and mountain and desert. Ha! What carol is heard in the desert? O oh, camel ye faithful! Ho ho ho! Now, starting from sundown on Christmas Eve on one side of the international dateline and ending before sunrise on Christmas Day on the other side of the dateline and taking into account all the variations in sunset sunrise times between locations and latitudes I wind up with a maximum of 42 hours to visit all the households. During that time I have to park my sleigh making sure I don't get a parking ticket again and enter into the house undetected. Down the chimney is best, but sometimes I have to walk through walls. Oh yes, I have that ability as well. I deliver a present for each child, eat any snacks left for me. Just as an aside, I don't like oat and raisin cookies. And then I have to leave the house undetected, mount the sleigh and head for the next house. But I am undaunted by this monumental task. I have exactly 300 microseconds to accomplish everything that needs to be accomplished per house. Now people say it's impossible. Maybe for a normal human with conventional technology it is. But I am Santa. I can travel at 1367 miles per second. How do I manage it? It's easy. If you all have Christmas spirit, then my magic works. Oh, it's powerful magic. We all need a bit of magic in our lives. Now, I have many other things I could tell you, but I must get going now. I've got to take the sleigh out for a practice run. It has to be in perfect working order for Christmas Eve. Oh, uh, and what do I want for Christmas? I want to live in a world where a chicken can cross the road without having its motive questioned. <laughs> Just kidding. I want peace on earth and I want everyone to be kind to each other. That would make me truly joyful. So, to all you children, mummies, daddies, carers, grandparents, great-grandparents, aunts, uncles, great-aunts, great-uncles, cousins, second cousins, third cousins, 42nd cousins, and everyone I have forgotten, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.